tin cans full of preserved pineapples was one of the first successful products of Singapore's nascent manufacturing industry. In the late 1800s, pineapples grew in abundance throughout Malaya. However, the tropical fruit had a short shelf life and was too delicate to transport across long distances. All this changed with Singapore's pineapple tin canning industry, which was kick-started by three fringe businessmen. One of them was Joseph Bastiani, a former war veteran and seaman. He and his brother started a pineapple cannery at High Street. Eventually, they were producing up to 5,000 cans of pineapples each day. Local businessmen followed suit, only they did so on a larger scale. Lim Nee Soon was one such local businessman. In 1911, he set up his own rubber and pineapple trading company at Beach Road. He acquired land around the Salita River, or present-day Yishun, where he grew pineapples amidst slower-growing rubber trees. By 1910, he was exporting the product to the world and was considered Singapore's pineapple king. Despite Lim Nee Soon's success, pineapples were still considered a secondary crop to rubber. This changed when the Great Depression hit in the 1930s. As the rubber industry collapsed, so too did pineapples. Then, another local entrepreneur, Li Kong Chien, made pineapples a primary crop. In 1931, he started Li Pineapple and set up operations in Malaya. His factory still exists today. <laughs>